Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the second week of August. So we're just going to see what comes up. I'm going to tag the first one to the to the end of this, the first week of August, because it seemed to be pretty relevant. But anyhow, we're going to see what happens for the second week. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo for the second week of August? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Guess we'll take those. Key. Successful outcome to your problems. Thank you, Lord. July. There's one behind the key that I missed. July. And four-leaf clover. Good or great good fortune. So this is good luck. That's what I would have called it. Good luck. Anyhow, this is good fortune. So you got some great fortune, obviously. Good luck. Something is happening. Uh, now, July was very prominent for you. So something may be coming to fruition that started in July. Or something could um, come full circle next July. Alright, so let's see. Key and man. <laughs> Of course, dealings or relationship with a man. So yes, and that's, it looks like it's pretty good. Okay, successful outcome to your problems. Dealings or relationship with a man. This is good luck. It is good luck. So if you are a man watching this, you could be dealing with another man. Okay. And this may be your problems are surrounding money. Whatever is happening, there is going to be a successful outcome. Very good fortune here. It's, it's wonderful. What do we have for Virgo? The Empress. Yeah, oh, well, the Empress. The Empress is very, very, you know, she's abundant. She's abundant, she is loving, she's generous, she's kind, she's nurturing. It looks like it's time, it's time. It's time for something because of the clock. Whenever I see a clock, it tells me it's time. Uh, the Empress is very motherly, she's domestic, she's a goddess. She loves unconditionally. Um, she does everything with love, put it that way. So we do have an Empress here, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. This is somebody that is all about tender, loving care, okay? And this is the birth of a new life, okay? So she gives birth, she delivers, she does it all. The Empress is ruled by Venus, which is the planet of love. So this is absolutely about love. Death, okay? So death, um, somebody's being left behind, as you can see. And it's all about love. It is definitely all about love. Endings lead to new beginnings. The Empress gives birth, but you don't give birth without feeling the pain. So there is some sort of pain that comes before this new life begins. But this is definitely the birth of a new life. So we do have the beginning of a new life here that comes after a very significant ending. So there is going to be an ending. Because death is an ending that leads to a new beginning. So this week... Uh, I believe we have a new beginning because of this. I think we have a new beginning. Perhaps the ending happens this week or it happened in July or something like that. But it feels to me like we have a new beginning this week. Uh, somebody is, has chosen to leave somebody behind. Could be a marriage partner. Could be an ex. King of Swords reverse. Now, there could have been some abuse. The King of Swords in reverse is somebody that is abusive mentally, physically, verbally, one of the above, all of the above, something like that. The King of Swords in reverse is somebody that is mean, hard, cold, uncaring. So um, it's also poor decision. Somebody doesn't make very uh, good decisions. Uh, the King of Swords only cares about themselves. Very, very greedy, selfish. Um, not very intelligent. Maybe lacking common sense or something. Anyway, the King of Swords in reversed is uh, 
<sighs> somebody that is absent, okay? This is somebody that abuses their power. Now, it's interesting. This is a mother, and this is an absent father. So we may have somebody here that had, didn't really have a father. This was an absent father. This is a loss. Death is a loss. Death could be a death. Okay, it's the death of a person or idea. So there is a death here. There's an ending. And I'm not sure if it's of a, you know, relationship or a father or even a mother. I'm not sure what is going on here. But death is an ending, whether it is um, physical or not. So we do, and this is a profound life change. It's a birth, it is a new birth, okay? So it is a profound, it is definitely a life change. It's, it's separation and loss that leads to a new beginning. Judgment reversed. Now, these are pretty uh, extreme cards, put it that way. Uh, this judgment is poor judgment and this and the king somebody has made a poor judgment call and maybe it's somebody in a position of authority and if somebody in a position of authority made a poor judgment call could have been a judge could have been i don't know could be a police officer could be anybody that's in a position of authority that makes a poor judgment call that leads to death okay it leads to an ending so i don't know if you're dealing with that situation this week but endings is something somebody has made a poor judgment call they may have lied okay there's lies here there's dishonesty okay um not listening somebody is not list they haven't been listening at all they're not answering the higher call they've made a bad choice and now they're going to be ex ending it so there is an ending here and it does have to do with a bad choice that was made somebody made a bad choice and they may uh, need forgiveness okay forgiveness will be needed but this is bad karma judgment is bad karma somebody was not listening to the truth, not accepting the truth, not wanting to be held accountable for their actions, really, really um, being deceitful, sneaky. This is King of Swords reverse. This is somebody that is power crazed. A lot of dishonesty here. Judgment is a lack of awareness as well. Lack of awakening. Not waking up. Knight of Cups reversed. Now, the Knight of Cups reversed is an individual that is uses people. They use people for their own good. There could also be an emotional outburst ahead. Uh, there's probably an unrequited love situation here that is coming to an end. It is. It's. It's coming to an end. They're subject to trial. There's go, there could be a trial. There could be some court rulings coming up. There was definitely a poor decision made. Something to do with a mother. Could be mother and child. The star reverse. This is why is this happening? Why, 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 why? You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. You also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have Scorpio twice. You have Aquarius twice. You have Scorpio. We have Scorpio. Wait a minute here. Three times. You have Scorpio three times. So you may be dealing with a Scorpio. You have Libra and Taurus. Um, but that we do have a mother. Or somebody that is very abundant and caring that is about to deliver something. She is very powerful. This empress is very, very, very powerful. You see all the red? Somebody made a poor judgment call. And now this is this the star reversed is why is this happening? Because somebody made a poor judgment call. 
there's definitely lack of spirituality here with the star reverse and the judgment reverse. Somebody, you know, they, they, they go by the book and not the their intuition. You know, they, they may be book smart, but not life experience smart. That kind of thing. Somebody made a poor judgment call. We have a very unpredictable individual here that may have an outburst. I feel like there's some sort of uh, sadness that is coming. And if we do have death and we have star reverse and knight of cups, there's sadness that is coming here. I'm not sure if it has to do with a father or a stepfather or an ex or something like that. There is pain because the empress doesn't get a blessing until she experiences pain. I can see some pain over here. So we got some pain that is coming and maybe it has to do with this man. May, and it could be a father. It could even be, you know, a family member. It doesn't have to be a father. It could be somebody in your immediate family, put it that way. Um, but judgment reverse. Somebody made a poor judgment call. They made the wrong decision. They did. And now there's, there may be some consequences even. The star card reversed is why is this happening? This is a test of your faith. All right, let's change this up a little bit. Two of Cups. So Two of Cups is about a union. It's about a partnership. There's a new partnership here. I know there is. This is a new life. This is a new life. Endings. This is your ending that leads to a new partnership. So you have a new opportunity here. This is yin and yang, right? It's 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 your perfect match. It's, it is. So there is an opportunity for love here, for compatibility with somebody after you deal with the pain of whatever loss that it is that you're dealing with because there is a loss here. We have a potential soulmate connection where there'll be mutual respect and um, what's the word for it? Equality. You know what I mean? Where there's it's just easy as well. It's like you mix with this person. It's easy conversation. It's easy to be around this person. It's it's your other half and you feel that. So I do feel like you are going to be uh, headed towards somebody that you feel is your perfect match. Or this person is in your life now. It feels like this person will be right by your side. Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is it's about Knight of Pentacles is about profit. Somebody that is very skilled, somebody that wants to build security. This is about building security, being responsible working really hard so setting goals um, I feel like somebody is oh look at that the woman is covered up now anyhow we have somebody here that is is coming in but they're not moving fast they're moving very slow they're looking for stability they're looking for something real and some of this per whoever this person is coming in is real they are solid and they have a lot to offer we have somebody here that is very very goal oriented this is a protector this person has tools this person is a protector he knows exactly what he's doing very very skilled so we have a very skilled individual that is coming in hard 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 worker So this person is coming in. They're going to put in a lot of effort. Somebody is going to put in effort with you. Especially if you are the feminine, you are taking on this energy. You have somebody, it could be another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be Scorpio. Okay. It could be Aquarius. Um, 
you have somebody that is coming in. It could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Did I say that already? Anyhow, there is somebody coming in that is a very hard worker that is going to do whatever it takes to uh, prove their loyalty. And this person is very loyal. They're going to prove their loyalty. They're going to put in a lot of effort to um, soothe you even. You know, it feels like this person's going to take care of you. They're going to take care of you through your pain. It feels like you are going to be going through some sort of pain because there's the death card is here. And the Empress has to have pain to get her blessing. So we have pain. So if it, but whoever this person is, is going. it feels like they're going to put in effort. They're going to do whatever it takes to love you, you know, to hold your hand, to protect you, to prove to you, you know, that they're going to be right by your side. So it feels like you've got somebody by your side that is, you know, going to do whatever it takes to prove to you that you made the right decision to uh, leave something else behind or whatever has happened to you happened for a reason. You know, they're going to, and they're not saying that everything, well, everything does happen for a reason, but sometimes people don't understand that. They're not aware that it does. But anyway, I think it's going to, you're going to be going through something very, very emotional where you may, you know, have to make a decision, you know, or you made a decision or you're making a decision or somebody is making a decision for you. If it's the other person, somebody's leaving. Okay, with with the with the death card, they're they're leaving somebody behind, and they are they're doing it because it's an unrequited love situation. Okay, it's not love. Okay, it's not love, and I feel like somehow you are directly involved, and I feel like you know you are in a situation where you're with somebody that, or you're going to be with somebody that is your perfect match. I feel like this person. Um, is a hard worker and they're going to put in whatever whatever uh, effort that needs to put in to prove to you. They, they'll do whatever it takes. They will. They'll do whatever it takes to prove to you that, you know, you're beautiful, that, that you're loved, that all of this is worth it. You're going to be okay. This is the start of your new life. You know, that kind of thing. This person is going to it feels like they're going to console you through whatever pain this is. And I'm not sure what it is, but I'm sure that you know. This is your other half. So this is your other half. High Priestess, you know it too. You may be you may be somebody that is very spiritual. You are. I mean, if this is you, you have a psychic ability. This is psychic. This is spiritual. This is a healer, a tarot reader, a medium, uh, somebody that you know predicts. You may have predicted this was going to happen. If you did, then you are correct. You are correct. Okay, it's in the cards. It's right here. You do have a solid, stable opportunity coming to you. This is an absolute blessing. This is a miracle. It's time. You may have been told this by another tarot reader or by somebody, or you may have sensed it within yourself. I feel like whoever is coming in is very attracted to you. They they approve of your abilities. They uh, are intrigued by them. They see your... your uh, status okay they're all, this person that is coming in is about status as well and they see your status they value you they value you because you value you so whoever is coming in i feel as though they are it's exactly what you deserve it's going to be an equal uh relationship it's going to be balanced you it's going there's going to be equal give and take it's not going to be one sided you are receiving a gift you are. This is a gift. It is. It is. This is the gift of balance. It's the gift of harmony. Okay. So I think that you are about to uh, end a difficult cycle in your life. Okay. Because of that death card. You turning your back on somebody. Or them turning the back on you. May have hurt because I do feel there's a lot of pain here. There is pain. And maybe it's going to happen this week. Okay, there is some sort of situation that is unfolding or has unfolded that does result in an ending. This ending is painful and it's a very difficult decision, but it leads to a new life. 
okay? It, it breaks you free of the pain that you have been holding on to, okay? And I feel as though if you have been alone, say you've been alone and you've, and you've been reflecting, say you've been by yourself, you may have called in a soulmate because there is, this is a soulmate connection. There, we do have a soulmate connection here. Um, this is a very real, real, real thing. This is a real connection. Um, you may not be aware of it though. There's lack of awareness, but I think that you are because this is awareness. In the past, you may not have been aware or whoever you were dealing with wasn't aware or whoever you're dealing with now wasn't aware. There's a lack of awareness, but you know, okay? You know because of this high priestess is, is here. Um, this is all part of the script. It is all part of the script. I think you have a very hard worker coming into your life that is very loyal and real. If this person is already there, well, then you've met your match. If you are in an unrequited love situation right now, I feel like you will be leaving it behind and you will be headed right towards your perfect match. Okay? Somebody is leaving an unrequited love situation behind and it is very, very, very painful. Um, there could be even something that happens... Um, that you were not aware of that causes an ending in your life, okay? Whether it's a death or an, it's or an ending and something comes in um, all of a sudden, okay? Because if you think about a birth, it comes whenever it's time. You don't, you don't get to choose, okay? Whenever, sometimes it comes early, sometimes it comes late, sometimes it comes right when it's supposed to. It comes when it's time. So I, I, you know, it's time. I know that it's time. I know that it's time for this connection to blossom. So be prepared for that. So you are going to be deepening a connection with a soulmate, whether you have met them yet or not. Something is going to happen this week that has to do with your perfect match. And I think that your perfect match is going to be putting in effort to prove how much they care. Good luck.